So when I teach math word problems, I teach my students the cubes method. Now, the very first thing we do is read the story together and discuss what's happening in the story. Is there a character? What's happening to the character? And I use a lot of hand movements for um, deciding whether we're going to put things together or are we taking things apart. So first we try to understand what is happening in the story and then we start using the cubes method. So I will circle the numbers and we'll start there. Then we'll underline a keyword. Now I have a bulletin board that is math keywords in English and Spanish. So they will start using that bulletin board as a reference. And pretty soon they will know that the word each when they see it is for multiplication. Then I want them to box the question. So I ask them to look for the question word or look for the question mark and start where the capital is and we're gonna box the question. Next, we're gonna eliminate words that they do not need. So, I will say to them, is Marley really important? If I see the word Marley, do I know if I have to add or subtract or multiply? So they, we go through word by word. What is really important in this story? And they start taking words away so that they have numbers they have a keyword and they have whatever item is in the word problem, like elephants or pigs, or in this case, it's strawberries. So we start in the first box and I tell them, what are they looking for? So there, they're going to tell me how many strawberries did Marley pick. In this box, I want them to draw a model. So for this story, Marley has four buckets and each bucket has eight. So I want them to show me equal groups. And they will draw eight in each group. When we get to this box, I want them to write an equation. So they're gonna write, uh, four times eight equals 32. And by this box, they should be answering the question using a sentence. So how many strawberries did Marley pick? They should be writing, Marley picked 32 strawberries. And that's how I teach word problems with the cubes method.